the future value formula of compound interest is future value equals present value multiplied by 1 plus i to the power n. How many variables do we have in this formula? We have four variables, future value, present value, compound interest, and time. Therefore, we can rearrange this formula into four different formulas. So this will be our first formula. Then let's assume that we would like to get present value. So we need to divide both sides by this bracket, which is 1 plus i to the power n. Therefore, our present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n. So what if we would like to calculate our compound interest? Therefore, we need to divide both sides by present value. So future value divided by present value is equal to 1 plus i to the power n. In order to get rid of n, we need to multiply both sides the power by 1 over n. Therefore, we'll say that future value divided by present value, all of this to the power 1 over n is equal to 1 plus i. So in order to get our interest rate, we need to subtract 1 from both sides. So our interest rate is equal to future value divided by present value, all of this to the power 1 over n minus 1. And this will be our third formula. So our fourth formula will be we need to calculate our n. So in order to calculate our n, what we need to do is we need to get rid of present value. And that's why here we have future value divided by present value equal 1 plus i to the power n. Then we need to put the n down. In order to put the n down, we need to use natural log, which we call it lan. Therefore, here we'll have lan future value divided by present value equal to n len 1 plus i. So in order to get n, we need to divide both sides by len 1 plus i. Therefore, our n is equal to len future value divided by present value divided by len 1 plus i. And this will be our fourth formula. Let's use these four formulas into four different questions. Samuel invested $10,000 at 10% effective annual interest rate for four years. Calculate the future value of his investment. So let's get the variables we have in the case study. We have present value or principal of 10,000. We have interest rate of 10% per annum. We have time is four years and we have we need to calculate future value. Remember that interest and time must have the same time unit. Here we have interest is every year and time is years. Therefore, our future value formula based on compound interest is equal to present value multiplied by one plus i to the power n. So here it will be 10,000 multiplied by one plus 10% all of this to the power 4. This will give us future value of 14,641. Another example. David would like to have a savings of 16,771 in an account at the end of six years. Calculate the amount he needs to save now if the saving account earns an annually effective rate of return of 9%. Let's get the variables in this example. We have future value of 16,771. We have number of years, six years. We have our interest rate 9% per annum, and we need to calculate the present value. Remember, interest and time must have the same time unit. Here, our time is years, and our interest per annum every year. Therefore, we have the same time unit. Consequently, we don't need to make any adjustment so our present value formula is future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n. So here we have present value equals 16,771 divided by open bracket 1 plus 9% close bracket to the power 6. This will give us a present value of $10,000. Another example is Jennifer borrowed $20,000 from her best friend. Two years later, Jennifer repaid her $22,050. Calculate the effective annual interest rate. Let's get the variables from this example. We have present value $20,000. We have number of years is two years. We have future value $22,050. We need to calculate our effective annual interest rate. Remember, interest and time must have the same time unit. Here, our time is years. Therefore, our interest rate will be years. So our interest rate formula is equal to future value divided by present value, all of this to the power 1 over n minus 1. So our interest rate is equal to 
and fifty dollars divided by twenty thousand all of this to the power one over two minus one this will give us an interest rate of five percent per annum why we said per annum every year because the time here is per years and interest and time must have the same time unit let's get another example Edward invested $40,000 in a fund offering a rate of return of 9% per year. Approximately how many years will it take for the investment to reach $67,084? Let's get the variables from this question. We have present value of $40,000, we have interest rate of 9% per annum, we have future value of 67,084. We need to calculate our M, the number of years. So we know that interest and time must have the same time unit. So since our interest is per annum, therefore our time here will be in years. So our M is equal to len future value divided by present value. All of this divided by len one plus I, which is equal to len Future value is 67 and 84 divided by 40,000. All of this divided by len 1 plus 9%. So this will give us number of years is equal to 6 years.